South Dakota has plenty of great sights to see, and we decided to tour just a few of them with our long-term GMC Yukon. First we headed for the Black Hills area for a look at Mount Rushmore, among other things. The Black Hills take their name from the appearance they have when looked at from a distance as they rise above the prairie grasses of the surrounding plains. The region was the scene of a gold rush starting in 1874, and these days it's a popular tourist destination for both its scenic beauty and its rough and tumble mining heritage. At Mount Rushmore, 60 foot tall sculpted heads of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt peer out from the granite mountainside. The Visitor's Center provides a variety of exhibits and films concerning the construction and history of this massive project. If you want to step back to the mining and gambling days of yesteryear, Deadwood offers plenty of historic charm with its casinos, hotels, souvenir shops, and mine tours. Sturgis is well known for its annual gathering of motorcyclists, and just outside of town, a national backcountry byway takes you down old stagecoach trails to view the remnants of cavalry encampments from the town's earlier days. Throughout the Black Hills, you'll find plenty of twisting and turning roads, both paved and unpaved, lacing through the mountains, connecting tourist attractions, and quieter open scenic areas. Our Yukon felt right at home on the hilly, curving roads and in the varying altitude, providing us with accurate handling and solid power on tap. East of the Black Hills, Badlands National Park spreads out on the prairie. Here, an eroded landscape of spires and canyons provides a different kind of scenic beauty. Herds of wild sheep, deer, bison, and other animals graze on the grasslands, while fossil beds dating back millions of years lie under the sediment in the deep ravines. Throughout the park, hiking trails can lead you to even more impressive views than you'll be able to get from your vehicle. Adjacent to the park, you'll find the Buffalo Gap National Grassland. Near the parks in the town of Wall, you'll find the famous traveler stop, Wall Drugstore. This block-long tourist mecca and souvenir shop is a testimony to the success that a good marketing plan can bring. Opened in 1931, Wall Drug beckoned travelers from far and wide with signs and billboards offering free ice water, and the place just kept growing, adding exhibits, food and other products and it still flourishes today. Farther east, since we were running our Yukon on corn-based E85 ethanol, we couldn't resist a stop at the Corn Palace in Mitchell. This convention hall is decorated with murals made of corn and has been a feature of the area since 1892, although the actual building has changed a few times since then. Our GMC ran strongly on the E85, but fuel mileage dipped to around 12 miles per gallon as compared with the 17 or so that we were averaging on gasoline during our trip. All in all, the Yukon proved to be a very nice travel vehicle, with plenty of space for us and our gear, comfortable seating, and good driving dynamics on all types of roads. We're already looking forward to getting back to South Dakota one of these days to see some of the attractions we just didn't have time to take in this time, and to spending more time at the ones that we did get to.